Welcome to the Agile Pulse in vivo system training video. The waveform generator is comprised of a touchscreen user interface and high voltage pulsing circuits. The computer runs mobile windows and is operated by a touchscreen. The following can be found on the front panel. Two USB ports, the IDA electrode connector, the emergency stop button switch, and the user touchscreen. All user inputs are entered via the touchscreen. One USB port can be used for a memory key. The data logs that result from a vaccination are automatically stored on the key if one is inserted. The other USB port may be used for the optional foot pedal. Connect the electrode into the IDA connection port. Connect the electrode head into the handle, lining up the arrows. After power is turned on, a login screen is presented that requires the user to enter a username and password combination. To set up a protocol, click on Setup. Then on the next screen, click Protocol. Parameters for three pulse groups are modifiable by selecting a box and scrolling through the available values. Subsequent groups are activated by selecting more than one pulse in the number field, and conversely, deactivated by selecting zero pulses in the number field. The protocol can be named and saved in the protocol logs. To select a protocol, Use the drop-down menu at the top of the screen. For this demonstration, click Default, then Add New to program a new protocol. A virtual keypad pops up and allows the user to name the new protocol. To program the parameters, set the voltages for each group. In this demonstration, the voltage in group 1 is set to 450 volts, a 50 microsecond pulse duration with a 0.2 millisecond interval, one pulse, Next, program group 2 for one pulse, 450 volts, a 50 microsecond duration. Set the pulse interval to 50 milliseconds. The final set for group 3 consists of 8 pulses, 110 volts, and a pulse duration of 10 milliseconds. The default interval for these parameters is 20 milliseconds. Click on Home, then OK, and the programs take you back to the home screen. Click on Setup again. Click on Logs. The folder icon containing all the saved protocols appears. Click on the folder. Double-click on the appropriate subfolder showing the year. Click on the folder that reflects the month the protocol was saved. Then click on the appropriate folder for the day. To save, insert a USB key and click Save. Click on Home. An opening screen allows input of experiment name for the current therapeutic slash vaccine delivery and information is entered by a virtual keypad. Touching a text field box highlights it blue and allows modification. The therapeutic field permits the name of the drug or vaccine, and the electrode field is to record the type of electrode used. Once all information is entered, click on Next. The protocol parameter screen pops up and allows you to review the protocol that will be delivered. Once the parameters are verified, click on OK. Using a clipper, shave the injection site of the mouse so that the skin is visible and clean. Spray the area with 70% ethanol and wipe off the excess with a sterile cloth. Gently hold the mouse under the back legs, grabbing the tail with the thumb. Pull on the skin. Insert the needle with the bevel up, pushing up under the skin for a short distance. Inject 20 microliters. You should see a bleb form under the skin. Gently remove the needle and insert the needle array electrode. For the proper insertion of the arrays, position the needles so they span the injection site and hold at an angle. Push the needles in by rolling forward until the needles are fully inserted. Determine if the electrode is inserted properly by touching the load button. A small pulse is delivered to the electrode to verify that an electrode is inserted. A number will appear in the estimated load box, and the load button will change to a green color. This number is the effective resistance of an animal's skin, and will continue to be updated every second. The resistance should read at less than 3500 ohms. If it doesn't, then reinsert the electrodes and try again. If the load reading is within range, then the next step is to turn on the high voltage power supply by touching the ready button. The ready button will flash green until fully charged, and then will stay solid green. The high voltage reading will appear in the system message box. 
If the system voltage is correct, then pulsing is initiated by touching start. The start button turns a solid blue when pulsing is active, and a solid green when pulsing is complete. When the system reaches a shutdown state, either by successful waveform delivery or by error, all buttons will turn solid green, and pulse delivery data will be displayed in the system message text box. The load message box will change from the estimated load value to the actual high voltage pulse monitored value. The log of all delivered values is displayed below. All run history log data are automatically stored in the internal flash memory, as well as a USB key if one is inserted. Click on Load to make a load estimate. Click Ready. Click Start. The parameters of the delivered protocol are displayed. Some of the following assays may be performed post-electroporation. Live imaging of localized protein expression. Intracellular cytokine staining. Flow cytometry. In vitro and in vivo cytotoxicity assays. ELISA and Ellis spot assays. The following example shows luciferase gene expression in skin after DNA delivery using the Agile Pulse in vivo system. This concludes the setup and video training for the Agile Pulse in vivo system.